So, when it comes time for dressing changes, are you going to be doing the dressings, or who's going to be doing the dressing changes? Um, I can do it. Okay, so always lay him down like this. Okay. Open up the vest, take the old off, okay? And you're going to generously take bacitracin ointment, and you're going to put it over the nipple area. I'm putting a little extra on here because I want this to like really coagulate, okay? Um, on both sides, see how I'm doing that? Mm -hmm. Okay, and you're also, I'm gonna do this. I'm putting it on this incision because I'm gonna put a dressing on here, but you won't have to worry about doing that. Actually, for maybe the first like week, I want you to do that, okay? okay? And just let me get in here. This is where the drain site is. You're gonna put a dab over on the drain site. Okay. And I have everything written down. Oh good, okay. Yeah, so, okay, and then I'm gonna come over here on this drain site. It's kind of hard to see because you got a lot of dry blood, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So, I'm sorry, I'm tickling you all, so. So then, you're going to take Telfa Pass after the Bacitracin. Telfa, see, shiny, shiny. Uh -huh. That's why I give you a sample of everything so okay. you know what to get. You're just going to gently just leave this over the nipple, just like that, okay? okay. Now, because we, the stereo strips came off, you're going to put the Bacitracin on here and see how I'm doing with this. Uh-huh. Cut it and just kind of put it right like that, okay? I don't want you pressing down or anything like that. Just let it just kind of mold, mm -hmm. all right? Then, these are called ABDs. Okay, okay they're for uh, compression and they're for absorption of any kind of, you know, fluid that may or may not from after the drains are full, okay? Now, I'll tell you a little secret. This a patient told me. He's like, Mary, he's like, I could not afford these. So he went and bought maxi pads. Oh, hilarious. Uh, non deodorant you know, I mean, I don't know how expensive these are. I don't know if you have insurance, you know, that would cover this. Mm -hmm. But, um, okay, so see how I'm laying everything down like this? Mm -hmm. All right, so when we close this vest, you're not going to disrupt this until Sunday, okay? Okay. All right, now you might have a little oozing. We can put a little gauze under there, okay? Mm -hmm. So this is why I want you laying down to do dressing changes because we do not use any tape. Mm -hmm. We just do eyelet to eyelet. Um, where do you get all the pads and stuff? Can you just get those at CVS or Walgreens? Yeah, 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 absolutely. Absolutely. Okay, so. All right, so with that being said, how does that feel? Fine. Okay, I'm going to have you sit up for me. Okay, let me pull this in. You look great. I mean, it does. Everything looks like it should. So, everything is highlighted in yellow is what you're going to do for, okay, you, not till Sunday, because... Mm -hmm. Pretend we're seeing you for the first post-op visit on Sunday, okay? okay. So as of Sunday, um, everything that's highlighted is what you're going to do, okay? Mm -hmm. We did pull the drains. Drains have holes. They heal five to seven days from the inside out. Can you have drainage? Absolutely, okay? So that's why I put the little extra thing there, uh -huh. okay? All right. So no deodorant wearing. Mm -hmm. So take a wet washcloth and you can, you know, do that. The vest, the vest needs to be worn 23 out of a 24 hour day. So that's the main reason, see how it all came together, that's why when you do dressing changes, you just lay down, that's the best way to do it, okay? okay. All right, so on Sunday, when you take your shower, you can throw this in a quick wash, in a medium dry, you go shower, enjoy, not having anything in your chest for like an hour, uh, but when you come out of the shower, I want you to put at least a bacitracin on, okay? Mm -hmm. um, you don't have to put the telfa pads on because they're gonna fall because he's not gonna have a vest, but at least get the ointment okay. on right after the shower, okay, mm -hmm. if the vest isn't ready. Now, if the vest is ready, fine. Just go ahead and do that, okay? And then put the pads, those pads back on? Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, so your incisions. All right, all absorbable suture. It's like, okay, but like healing process, it's like, you know, when you skin your knee, you go through different phases of healing. Same thing here. Mm -hmm. All right, so you're going to have maybe one day a nipple pink, dusky. It's okay. Mm -hmm. If you're doing the dressing changes, you're going to know if something just doesn't seem right. If that's the case, boom, picture and email me. Mm -hmm. Okay? Okay. I'll look at it and I'll let you know what my thoughts are. And if I have to take it on to him, I'll take it on to him. Mm -hmm. Now, I'm going to quiz you. Now, we took the one side off, but what about the other side? When do I want those stereo strips off by? Uh, two weeks from Monday. Perfect. Bingo. Right on. All right. Um, all right. But if it falls off in the shower, fine. that's fine. Okay. Fine. Don't worry about it. And you just put the basset trace in on. I don't even, you won't even need it. No, I don't want any best tracing on this. I only put it on that side because the stereos came off. Okay. And that's why I said I only want you to do it for like five days. Okay. Okay. Um, so, um, no best tracing, only best tracing around the nipple okay. and these sites for right now. Okay. Cool. 
All right. So I don't want any friction in here for one month. So my suggestion is getting that soapy wet washcloth again. Mm -hmm. And see how I'm squeezing it like over my chest like this? Mm -hmm. Water and soap will run down mm -hmm. over the nipple area. That's absolutely fine. Mm -hmm. I do want the shower head to hit you, but if you have a one that's a real pulsating like massage one, dial mm -hmm. it down. I want this, the slowest flow on you, mm -hmm. okay? And of course use a mild soap. I don't care what it is. Mm -hmm. um, not till Sunday. Okay, so really all this pertains Sunday, okay? Because you're just going to stay like this for the next two days. Mm -hmm. All right, Sunday, I want you to hit a wall. See how like I'm crawling up the wall like this on my side and coming back down? I want you to do that, both sides and then together, okay? I want you to slowly reach up. Now, you may feel like you can go from zero to 100. <laughs> no way. You got internal, external healing going on, okay? So I want you to just be mindful of that. Mm -hmm. All right, so this is non-negotiable, and if you need a letter for any reason, I'll do it. No lifting, pushing, pulling over 10 pounds for the next eight weeks. Mm -hmm. No book bag, mm -hmm. okay? If you need a thing, you need to roll it, okay? Mm -hmm. um, no swimming for six weeks. No lifting weights, push-ups, riding a bike, jogging, running, or any upper body extremity workout for eight weeks. You can get on a treadmill. Mm -hmm. I still want you running on a treadmill. Mm -hmm. You can get on a lip and do the leg part, but you can't do the top part, okay? Mm -hmm. You can walk, mm -hmm. all right? Okay, things sit back. Bruising, numbness, swelling. Now we already know we have more bruising on this left side and we know that there's probably going to be more bruising and maybe a little bit more swelling because we already know this, okay? Mm -hmm. um, so not to be alarmed. If it starts really, and then I want you to take a picture and just email it to me, okay? Mm -hmm. um, intermittent discomfort. You might feel some sharpshooting pains or some weirdness. We cut nerves when we're in there mm -hmm. and so they need to find new pathways. Mm -hmm. That's just your body telling you, I'm finding new pathways. Okay. okay. All right. One month from now, boom, I want a photo. Mm -hmm. Email to me. My email and my phone number is on here. Mm -hmm. All right. So you can always get a hold of me. But the best way to do, if you have any concerns about what you're looking at, picture and email. Okay. Cool. All right. And Question. Yeah. Um, Max job is, you do a lot of typing, right? Mm -hmm. On the computer. Is that okay? Well, yeah. But when are you going back? Uh, next, not next. Or are you off all next week? week? Yeah, he's up right, on the so Just because we have this little bit of swelling on this side, I don't want a lot of that. In fact, I want you to kind of baby that side a little mm -hmm. bit. Okay. Yeah. He's off another ten days, I think. Okay, perfect. Uh, I think we'll be okay by yeah. that. Yeah. 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 That's fine. I can type with my right yeah, hands. Yeah. I yeah. can type. Um, and driving, this is how he's driving. Mm -hmm. um, you have to be able to slam on the brakes and turn the wheel without restriction. And you can't do that now. And you're not going to do it next week. And you're probably not going to be able to do it the week after that. Mm -hmm. Because in the court of law. They will look and say, oh, you just had surgery? Oh, yeah, you didn't. No, 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 no. Mm -hmm. So just be mindful. It's, we don't put an exact on there. When you feel it, you can honestly turn the wheel, mm -hmm. slam on the brakes to avoid an accident mm -hmm. if need be. Mm -hmm. And you can always Uber if you have to. Yeah, Uber. Uber's a wonderful thing. Yeah. We're doing it. Or so Lyft or whatever. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Ubering the night. Yeah. Yeah. So anyways, um, any questions for me? I don't think so. Perfect. You did great. Yeah. Yay. Thank you so much. No problem.